This is Dr. Carroll, and we have another video about heaps. In this video, we're going to talk about efficiency of heat. So if you haven't watched the other videos, watch them before, because we'll just briefly touch about all the aspects. So let's talk about each of the operations that have been discussed in the other videos. Let's first talk about insertion. Okay, so insertion has two steps to it. One is that we're going to add the last index to an array, and we'll have to resize it, assuming that we didn't already. And um, that, that's pretty straightforward. That's going to be order one. The other part of insertion is now that we've inserted it at the bottom of the array, we need to make sure that we uh, adhere to the second property for heaps, the heap order property. So we need to bubble up. Well, let's talk about worst case and average case. The worst case is we got to bubble up all the way to the top. Well, since it's a complete binary tree, that means it's the height of the tree, and as we've seen before, the height of the tree is going to be order log n. Okay. On average case, though, it can be shown that it takes 2.607 comparisons. Uh, calculating that is beyond the scope of this video, but just it, it can be shown on average. It only needs about 2.6 comparisons to get a node into the right place. So that means. Um, we're going to need to do 1.6 swaps. So if we're going to need to do on average 1.6 swaps on average, then it's order one, and that that's pretty cool. Order one is is great, um, and adding the last index is is order one. So insertion is then order one. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let, let's go on to top. Top is return the item with the highest priority. Let's see, by definition, the highest priority, priority item is always the first item in the array, so hey, that's order one as well. Can you see why heaps have their place? Okay, now let's go on to pop. Pop is that it removes the item with the highest priority, okay? And again, there's two steps to this one. First, we need to overwrite the first item with the item in the last position of the array. Um, okay. We can do that. That's order one. And then the other part is, okay, now that we've we've switched it, we now need to bubble down or percolate down, okay? Worst case is we need to bubble down all the way, okay? It's a complete binary tree, so that means it's the height of it, and so that's log of n, okay? Log base two of n. Okay, but on average, turns out it needs to bubble down most of the way, so again, that's order log n. Great. Okay, now let's talk about build heap. Build heap's a little bit more involved. Build heap is where you take an array and you make it a heap or you heapify it. Average case and worst case are going to be the same order, so we'll just focus on the worst case for this one. Okay, so again, it takes two steps. The first is to assume the array is a complete binary tree. Um, okay, let's see. Assuming that's like order zero, if you can have order zero, that's pretty fast. Uh, just to make an assumption that that doesn't take anything, okay? And then the other step was to heapify. Okay, well, heapify is to call bubble down for each non leaf node, okay? So l let's see. Naive analogous, uh, naive algorithm analysis is going to say that, well, we need to do it for half the nodes. So there, there's half of the nodes are non-leaf nodes, and bubble down is order log n, okay? And so then we would have to do it order of n, half of n times log of n, which is really n log n, but it turns out that this is not a tight upper bound. We can do better than this. The problem with this naive algorithm analysis is that it, is, it assumes that the height of each sub heap is log n, but it's not. Uh, let's look at a heap here. Notice here's a complete um, heap, binary heap, and notice for all of these nodes here we we don't need to call bubble down. Okay, so at the, the level that has half of them, um, then we um, we don't need to do anything at all. So we would start here with heapify anyways. So and at, at this height, we have to move at most one. By definition, we can't move anymore. And then half of that many nodes, 
we're going to move down two and half of that many nodes we moved it, we'll have to bubble down at most three well th through some cool math and some um, some series and some um, uh, cancellations it can be shown that the sum of all of those heights is is what and that's what we're really after is what is the sum of all the heights of all of the subtrees uh, sub heaps and that's what we're really calculating in the worst case it turns out that this height is order n that's pretty cool so if if we're having to do order n comparisons for in the worst case for each of the heights of each of the subtrees and there's n of those well, that means build heap, uh, heapify is in order n, and that means, which is pretty cool, and that means build heap is order 0 plus order n, which is order n. Wow, that's pretty amazing. We can do it in linear time. Okay, so to summarize, we have insertion and top and pop and build heap, and we have average case, and we have um, worst case as well. So Insertion, order one, average case. Pretty cool. Worst case, though, is it's going to be log n to, to, to bubble up all the way. Top is order one in the average case and in the worst case. Pop, average case and worst case are both log n. And build, a heap, average case, order n, and worst case, uh, order n as well. And that's why heaps are so cool. That's it for today's video.